training the 10, 11, and 12 setters, uh, a couple things we really want to focus on is one, that they're able to shape their hands in the shape of a ball. So you give them a ball here, and when they get older, they can, when their hands get a little bit bigger, they can make their um, hands wider here so they're not touching the three panels of the trademark of the ball, okay? But when their hands are a little bit tinier, then I just wanna make sure we have space here with their thumbs, here, okay? And as we go, so we're holding the ball down here and we're lifting here, there. And this circle of power, one thing that certainly at that young age is pushing that ball out. And a typical air is to put the ball here and then to set. So a great, a great drill to do for your younger kids is have them shape the ball at their waist and then a key word is window here okay and Sid if I can have you just move over to that side over there so we feel this of shaping and the window into your window Sid Okay. 
that we're stopping, that we're balanced, and our hips are behind the ball. So that's a series that they can do at home. All these things can be done at home. All right? The next series would be self-toss, catch, and freeze to me. Self-toss, catch, and freeze to me. Good. Self-toss, catch, freeze to me. Good. All right. So now, getting the setter to set the ball, all right, you may go back to on one knee here. Already have your hands up, okay? Making sure they already have their hands up, okay? And as a tosser, we may stay, get a little bit closer here, and we're going to toss right into their window position, and as soon as it hits the pads of the fingers, then you set it out to me. Okay, strong. So hands up first in your window position, and toss and set. Good. And toss and set. Nice. Okay, then up on your feet. Same thing, keeping their hands in that position. So now they don't have to worry about this yet. Okay, but the hands are in position so they feel that. Toss. Good. Toss. So you got the high window hips and right foot forward. Here. Good. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Good. Now put your, now go back to your knee. Okay, put your hands in your lap like you're shaping the ball already. Now I'll say window. Then you set it back to me. Window. Window. Good. Window. Good. And this whole time we're doing self-evaluation. Okay, and stand up. Window. Window. Good. Window. Good. All right. So all these drills make, make the hands form the ball. Okay, understanding how high we want to train the hands. You know, when they get at an older age, they'll be ready to trans transition into it. Now, moving to the court here. I'm going to have Sydney on the 10 foot line. Here. And we do this a lot with the older kids is tossing. And I want them right now, I want you to run with your hands up so you can catch and feel what that looks like. Run with your hands up. Circle of power. 